Hello, my name is Scott Damon. I'm with Myotest, and today I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of one of our jumping protocols, the plyometric or reactivity test. This is some real important performance training information that's been always difficult to get out in the field. With this jumping protocol, we can look at really the important performance plyometric information, such as ground contact time, which we display in milliseconds, and also reactivity index which is the ratio of your flight time or your hang time divided by your ground contact time. So let me run you through this test and I think you have a pretty clear understanding of how quick and easy the mild test is to use. So I have the product turned on here. And I'm going to go into tests and go down to jump plyometric. I need to enter in my body weight which in this case is 202 pounds. And then I have the ability to control the repetitions anywhere from one repetition up to 20. So in this case, I'm gonna stick with five jumps. And then I hit next and it says, place sensor on the belt, press enter to start, wait for the beat five repetitions. So I have this elastic uh, band around here. I'm gonna firmly affix the mile test to the hip and I'll give you a quick demonstration of how this protocol works. Now keep in mind, I am not a plyometric jumper, but I think you'll get an idea of the test. So I hit enter, wait for a beat. You cited five reactive jumps. The double beat means the protocol was successfully completed. Now I have some instant information that we can take a look at. So the mile test took my five jumps and calculated an average. You can see my height of jump, 11.2 inches. That's vertical hip displacement. This is different than a jump and reach. My ground contact time, 163 milliseconds. Reactivity, 2.94. That again is my flight time divided by my ground contact time. Okay, so the higher that number, the better off we are. So really what we're looking for with a plyometric jump is to get as high as possible and of course spend as little time on the ground. So we don't want someone just going like this to minimize ground contact time and we don't want somebody going like this to maximize height of jump. So it's that important combination of the ground contact time and the time of the air. That's why we display that reactivity index, that ratio. So this information now, we have some baseline data on the, the athlete's ability during the plyometric protocol. You can now put the athlete through the training and look at progress and come back and do a post-test to see if we've made improvement. So I hope this quick demonstration helps show you how quick and easy the mild test is to use to get some real important performance information. Thank you.